Hi everybody, Jake here for FM Scout. Welcome to another episode of Wonder Kid to Superstar, the series where we take a Wonder Kid in FM21, simulate their growth over the course of a few seasons when they've been put on the higher end of their potential range to see what kind of player they could become in your guys' saves. We always try and look out for players who could be unknown, bargain players, uh, accessible to many teams, that kind of thing. And I think today's player fits that exact billing. He's someone that I don't think many people have signed. You can pick him up with a variety of teams. He's not going to cost you too much money. So hopefully you'll all enjoy this star striker that we're looking at today. I'll try and keep the video quick, but don't forget to like it if you do enjoy this kind of video and comment down below your rating out of 10 for this player. Take into account how much he costs, the kind of player that he turns into and his in-game performances too, so not just his attributes. And finally, if you haven't already, then hit subscribe on the FM Scout channel and ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our uploads here on the channel. So without further ado, let's get straight into looking at this star Slovakian striker. Okay, so first of all, where can you get this guy from? Well, the striker we're looking at today is Slovakian, and you can pick him up from one of the most reputable clubs in Slovakia, and that is Slaven Bratislava. Apologies if I pronounced that wrong. I'm not Slovakian myself, but I've done my best. And yeah, you can find him if you search all their players, look at strikers, you will find this guy. So here he is, it's David Strelek. Don't judge him too much right now. Don't judge his star rating, all that kind of thing. I'll talk about why in a second and what you can do to this player to make him an unbelievable signing for the price that he's going to cost you. But he'll only cost you around £1 million and you can definitely get him for less should you add in some additional clauses like percentage of next sale or instalments, whatever it may be. You can definitely get this guy, I reckon, for about £500,000 plus a few fees here and there. But £1 million up front is not a bad deal for this guy at all. He's a young player who's played a few times for Slavon Bratislavia over the last couple of years. He represents great value for money in Football Manager because even if he doesn't go and hit an amazing height, you're still going to be able to sell him on for profit, which is what we always try and look for in these kind of players. So if you guys load up a save, you can't really complain that oh, this guy hasn't got a high enough potential rate in my save, so it's not worth a hassle, you'd probably still at least make your money back. I reckon at least double, triple your money, even in the worst case scenario. And in the best case scenario, you're looking at a 60, 70 million pound player. Um, if you guys can't find him in your save, chances are you don't have a big enough database or you don't have a Slovakian leagues loaded. I don't know if you need it for him to appear, but if you can't find him, there's a chance that that's why. So he's 19 years of age, so he's got less time to develop than some strikers. And that's likely why you can get him for such a cheap amount of money. Because to be honest, this is easier championship level striker straight off the bat. If we're talking about the English leagues as a comparison, he could easily play in a championship, in my opinion. Physically, pretty decent, nothing to stand out, but he is quite quick and he's six foot one, which helps tall and quick with a bit of strength. What more can you want? That will develop over the years and we'll see how he turns out. He's left footed, he has a driven personality in this save, that isn't in every save, but in the three that I loaded up, his determination was 15 or higher. I don't know whether I've just got completely lucky there, but mentally he seems to be very strong a lot of the time. I mean, he's 19 years of age now, so SI have had a long time to figure out what he's good at and they have given him 12 leadership, 15 flair, 15 off the ball, 12 work rate, 12 anticipation, 13 composure, 18 determination in this save, 12 aggression, some great mental attributes in there, leadership, flair, nice bonuses. For such a young player, I think that is great. And then technically, he's pretty awesome too. Again, nothing amazingly stand out, but very good technique to build off upon with good passing, good first touch, decent on set pieces with corners and free kicks being nice with a nice bit of finishing and dribbling put in there. His heading needs a bit of work, and yeah, this is him. So what we're going to do in this simulation is simulate five years at Lazio. He's going to be taken over from Immobile's role in that striking position to see how he could potentially do in a team that's pretty decent. Lazio aren't the most amazing team, which I'll bring up Lazio in a few minutes and you'll see why. But other than that, there's not too much more to go into. Two-star player, three-and-a-half-star potential ability. Don't worry about that. That's related to other players in the team, and that will change drastically through the course of this simulation, as it seems to always do. Finally, in terms of his training, we're going double intensity with a final third focus. He is being mentored, but he doesn't need it too much. I mean, he's driven with 18 determination in this save. What more could you want from the guy? So that's how we're training him. Hopefully his decisions and composure will go up from there. So we're going to see him like a few years ahead to see how he's got on. Okay, here we are. The end of season two. Lazio finishing fourth. Just to note, I'm not using any kind of special tactic. It's a standard custom Gagan Press preset. And we've just put David Strelek up front. And he has done awesome. As you can see here, he is the highest scorer for Lazio and probably in the league two with 29 goals across all competitions this season. He's progressed quite nicely. Just to let you guys know, I haven't mentioned his potential range. I'll quickly show it in the bottom left now. Um, he's currently on the lower end of this right now in terms of his current ability. So if you were to get worst case scenario, 
this is what he might look like at his maximum. And I think that's pretty good considering if this is his worst, you can imagine what his best can be. And he's definitely worth the £1 million investment pretty much no matter what. If we look at him physically, his acceleration seems to have gone up. He seems to have got a bit quicker. But other than that, not too much. His agility has gone up a little bit too. And mentally, he has continued to develop. Now at 19 determination, he was being uh, mentored by a model citizen. So that seems to have helped him out. I don't know. He's got 14 leadership now with 17 composure, 13 decision making, 14 anticipation. Off the ball is great. Work rate is great. He's really developed in that area. Now the place where he's probably the weakest currently is his technicals. That's not the worst thing in the world when everything else is so good. There's been a lot of debate in this football manager about which is the most important and it's pretty much unanimously decided that technicals are probably the least important attribute. There's strikers with free finishing that end up getting 25 goals a season just because they're quick and they're good mentally. So whether technicals matter that much is up to you guys but I think for a striker these are fine right now for the kind of level the kind of level player we are looking at for £1 million and no one's really going to complain about it. He's 21 years old, 10 caps for Slovakia, 3 goals. I've now taken his focus off of final third and onto shooting so we should see his finishing and technique hopefully go up a little bit but he's looking pretty good. Now how is he performing in game? Well, at the age of 19, he hit 16 goals in his first season for Lazio and then 21 goals in his second season at Lazio. So in summary, he's one of the highest goal scorers in Serie A. He's not at his full potential yet. He's still only 21, plenty of room to grow and he can only cost £1 million. So great player mentally, physically is good and technically he's pretty average. It doesn't matter too much. We're going to simulate a few years ahead now, focusing on his technicals. We'll see him at the end of five years at Lazio. We'll see how he's get on his progression and if he's won any awards too. So let's quickly jump to that and see how David Strelick is getting on. Okay, here we are five years in the future since we first started. David Strelick has had five years to grow as a player. As we did mention, he started off at 19, so he's not like a 16-year-old where you can customise him to pretty much be exactly how you want when he gets older because you can focus his training a lot. David Strelick had a lot of his attributes already put in place, but that didn't stop him becoming a beast of a striker. And I'll prove that to you now. He cost us £1 million. He's now valued at £56 million. Should Lazio sell him on, they'd likely get £80 million plus. He's a four-star striker at a club that features the likes of Yusuf Mokoku, Jules Kunde, Milinkovic Savic, Oyozabal, Mendes, Luis Alberto. Plenty of very good players have been brought in here. And these aren't even me, by the way. This is just the assistant manager and the board working well together. And he is valued as the second highest in there, only slightly behind Mokoko in terms of his value. So... Great work from David Strelick there. Of course, we've been focusing his training a lot. We've been making sure that he does become the best player possible. Now, just before we go into a little bit more detail about this guy and his progression, I'd just like to let you guys know that I have started a Lazio series on my channel. It's linked in the description if you want to come join. Plenty of you guys did come and check it out and have said you've really enjoyed it. The first episode was a smash success for my kind of ambition, my kind of level. You guys shown an incredible support and I can only thank you guys for that and hopefully you're excited to see the rest of it. So to people that haven't yet, we're only one episode in, feel free to catch up and see how it's going. But David Stradick would have been an absolute gem for us in that Lazio team should I have picked him up. And we can see why. Look how good he's been for the last few years for Lazio. Five years in, physically very good. Not the world's best. He's not the quickest, not the strongest, but he's got a bit of everything alongside some nice agility and jumping reach too. Then we look at his mentors, which is his standout area with great off the ball, determination, decision making, composure, anticipation, work rate, all at a great level. Add in there some nice flair, some great leadership, some good teamwork, great vision too. He's a great all-round mental prospect. Then if we go into his technicals where he was lacking, as I did say, for the last three years of his growth, we've been focusing on that shooting and we managed to get his technique from a 14 to a 15, his passing up to a 14 and his finishing up to a 16 with his dribbling, first touch and passing all at a very good level, as well as his heading now, his long shots, his free kick taking, his corners, not an amazing level, but a pretty good level in my opinion. His last three seasons since we last saw him, he's at 22 goals, 24 goals and 30 goals, hitting over a seven average match rating all three seasons. He's became one of the best strikers in the world in this save in terms of his output and probably his attributes and value too. And I think it'd be very tough to argue that this guy isn't worth the one million pound investment should you have the money set aside. As I did mention, he's not playing for the greatest club in the world. So even if you are like championship level, you could definitely pick this guy up and entice him to come to your club. He's on a high contract here now and complaining that he wants even more money. So goes to show how good he is. And finally, let's have a look at what kind of landmarks and milestones this guy has won. If we start with competitions, we can see 
He's won the Serie A with Lazio and then he has won plenty of individual awards which is where he's really shined with the European Golden Shoe under his belt, Serie A Team of the Year, Italian Serie A Top Goal Scorer, Player of the Year in the Serie A if we keep going, Player of the Month, Champions Cup Golden Boot Runner up, Italian Serie A Top Goal Scorer, Player of the Month galore if we keep scrolling down as you can see he's just done really really well and no one could complain about his output there. So David Strelick, what do you guys think of him? I think for £1 million value, it's a 10 out of 10 for the kind of player you get. Even if he doesn't develop at all, you're still getting your money's worth, in my opinion. Uh, probably the weakest aspect of his game is his technicals and the fact that he's 19, so he's got less room to develop into the kind of player you guys might want. And it might be a bit harder to get him to reach that ceiling because he's already so far along in his development. I guess some people will say it's a negative that he plays in the Slovakian first division because it might be hard for some of you guys to get him with a smaller database. But if you did have him loaded... I've got to say, I think this guy's at least a 7 out of 10 and probably one of the best uh, bargain options up front that you can get in the game. It's hard to find a striker for that cheap who can get you this kind of output. And I think David Strelak has done awesome. So if you guys want to sign him in your save, let me know. Let me know what rating you'd give him out of 10. Don't forget to check out my Lazio save on my channel, linked in the description. Thank you guys for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Goodbye.